The railings we see here are all railings that come with Revit 2014. If we zoom in to take a look at these different railings, you'll see that this one is made up of a bunch of glass panels. It also has some railings going maybe across the top. Here we have some individual balusters, as well as a handrail, and then the top. Here we have a group of railings as well as some balusters that are standing straight up. And that's how these individual railings are made. If we select any of these railings, in this case, I'm gonna select on the glass panel bottom fill, we can go to edit type to see some of their properties. A few of the properties that we need to look at begin with the top rail. That's this particular bar that's going all the way across the top. For this one, it's three foot tall off of the ground. It also has elliptical one and a half by one and one eighth for the type. Now what this indicates is that there's an elliptical shape that has those dimensions and it's being swept the length of whatever the railing is. I'm gonna go back into the properties by selecting on the railing and edit type. So that's what this is right here. If there's a handrail, oftentimes you'll see that handrail information here on the list. Other times, that handrail information will be underneath rail structure. And if you click edit to that, in this case, we can see there are two rails. One is two foot eight inches off the ground. The other is two foot four inches off of the ground. And they're both one inch square. And those are these two rails that we see here. I'm gonna click on okay. Now, so far what we haven't seen is what makes up these panels. Well, what makes up the panels is if we select on edit type one more time, and go into baluster placement and select on edit. Each of these panels are considered their own individual baluster, whether it be the steel frame or the glass panel, which is two feet by eight feet. That particular family, which is a family just like a table would be or a sink would be, gets repeated again and again and again along the length of this particular railing structure. And some of the distances in between them are controlled through over here. There's also the start post, corner post, and end post for these. And if I click cancel just to get out of this menu so we can see it, and I'm gonna pull my type properties over, this is one of those corner posts. And this is gonna be repeated at the start, as well as any time that this has a corner, this post will now show up. So let's take a look at these properties again on some of these other railings. I'm gonna click on okay to this, and zoom back out, select on this rail here, and then click on edit type. What we have, three foot six high, is the top of this rail. And it's a rectangle, it's two inches by two inches. There's also a handrail in this case, positioned on the left hand side, that's circular and one and a half inches around. If we go to the baluster placement and click on edit, we'll see that every four inches, it's supposed to repeat this baluster square family again and again and again. I'm gonna click on cancel to both of those menus to get out, and now select on this last railing, and pick on edit type. If we take a look underneath the baluster placement in this case and select on edit, we can see that there's a baluster round as well as baluster round all the way on down. These are gonna be put into place every four feet on center or at the start, corner, or ends of wherever this railing condition is at. And we can see there's one of those balusters right there and every four feet they're being drawn in. Now I'm gonna hit on cancel, get out of this menu. I'm gonna come up to edit next to rail structure. And here we can see each of these rails going straight up as well as their height off of the ground and their overall one inch diameter around. This is the shape and this is their height. As far as materials go, it's currently listed as being by category. But if someone would click inside there, you could specify that this is made out of stainless steel, aluminum, PVC, whatever material you like to be made out of, just specify it through here and in the materials. So railings, they're made up of rails as well as balusters. They also have top rails and handrails associated with them. And all their properties can be found from underneath edit type in the properties dialog box.